the interior of some wedding or visiting house. There are several women in the film, but the action is only on the second one from the left side of the frame. A woman, probably around 40, wearing a navy blue dress with white and green patterns, flesh-colored semi-transparent tights and navy blue or indigo pumps with medium heels. All the time, the woman stands, leaning her hands on the chair placed in front of her. From time to time, he pushes each leg away from himself and takes off his shoes. Much more often he does this with the right limb. Genetically modified yeast produces THC and CBD. Thanks to genetic engineering, scientists from the University of California at Berkeley have managed to grow yeast that produces THC and CBD, the main components of hemp. Yeast also produces other cannabinoids, and the developed method is cheap and produces high-quality products. Yeast, which for millennia was mainly used to brew alcoholic beverages, has been modified by scientists to produce cannabinoids, chemicals with medicinal and psychoactive properties. The newly designed yeast can produce tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, the main psychoactive compound in hemp. They can also produce cannabidiol, or CBD, another major cannabinoid that has recently attracted attention for its therapeutic benefits, including anti-anxiety and analgesic effects. Yeast can become a simple and cheap supplier of these substances, which today are obtained only from plants. For consumers, the benefits will be huge. High quality, low production costs. This method of obtaining cannabinoids is also more environmentally friendly, argues Professor J. Kiesling of the University of California, Berkeley. Hemp and its extracts, including THC, are currently legal in 10 U.S. states. The business associated with them is worth billions of dollars. Marijuana in the U.S. is used for both private consumption and medical purposes. Cannabis extracts are an ingredient of many medicines. Research is also underway on their wider use in the treatment of various diseases, including epilepsy, Parkinson's disease or chronic pain. Cannabinoids are also increasingly used in cosmetics. Scientists have developed an inexpensive form of obtaining cannabinoids from yeast. Moreover, the modified yeast produces new types of cannabinoids that are present in minimal or no amounts in plants. This is a completely new field for research on these substances. The research results were published in the journal Nature. Thanks to yeast, we already obtain many valuable and rare substances, such as growth hormone, insulin, blood coagulation factors, morphine and opiates. Kiesling has been advocating wider use of yeast in drug production for years. He calls them green factories that produce specific substances without the complicated synthetic chemical processes that take place in laboratories. Scientists emphasize that the current methods of hemp production are very expensive, energy-intensive and pollute the environment. A method proposed by researchers from Berkeley may solve this problem. Yeast fed only with sugar is an easy and cheap way to produce pure cannabinoids. Turning yeast into chemical factories involved tweaking their metabolism so that instead of turning sugar into alcohol, the yeast turned sugar into other chemicals, which were then modified by added enzymes to produce a new product such as THC. Kiesling and his team of researchers modified several genes found in yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. In addition, he introduced genes from five types of bacteria and from cannabis itself. In total, researchers made 16 genetic modifications to turn yeast into cannabinoid factories. Kiesling and his
his team also developed yeast to transform various fatty acids into cannabinoids that are not found in nature. Perhaps these compounds will have some therapeutic properties or find other applications.